Welcome back to D20 Tactics. On this channel, I play Dungeons and Dragons with my friends, and we explore combat scenarios and play out the tactics used to defeat monsters quickly and safely, giving you more time to get back to roleplaying. I'm your host and Dungeon Master, Sarson Zero, and today I'm joined by Blind Oracle, Merrick of War, Azure Wolf, and Fear No Equal. Together we'll run through typical battles that adventurers might see playing Dungeons and Dragons. This is the fourth encounter of a demonic incursion, so if you missed the start, you can find a link to it in the description below. Grab your dice, draw your sword, and let's jump into combat. Hit points, ability, spells, items in hand. Holding plus two short bow, using plus one arrows, instrument of the bards across my back, sneak dice all day. 169 out of 169 hit points, with 10 temp HP. 122 out of 122 hit points. Four first level, three second, three third, three fourth, one fifth remaining. Full charges on both wands. Arcane recovery is still up. 35 out of 50 hit points. Three first level remaining, three second, three third, and three fourth. 202 out of 202 HP. Second wind and two indomitables still available. And we have a great axe plus two in hand. 161 out of 170 HP, carrying a Warhammer and a plus 2 shield, 2 Channel Divinity still remaining, 4 level 1 spells, 1 level 2, 3 level 3, 1 level 4, 2 level 5, 1 level 7, and 1 level 8. Carryover spells and allies. You still have the Potion of Heroism running, which gives me 10 temp HP and bless. I am carrying my Simulacrum and my Fine Familiar. I believe I still have Spirit Guardians, and I have Aid and Hero's Feast still going. Monsters, Abilities, Items, and Numbers. This encounter has three Hezrau and three Shadow Demons. Hezrau are demons, so they have demonic resistances, cold fire, lightning, non-magical weapons, immunity to poison. They also have a Stench, a Bite Attack, and a Claw Attack. The Stench is a 10-foot radius, DC 14, Con Save versus Poison. How do you guys feel about Poisoned? I eat it for breakfast. And the Shadow Demons are demons, so they have demonic resistances of acid fire necrotic and thunder non-magical attacks they're also immune to cold lightning and poison they're also immune to the conditions exhaustion grapple paralysis petrification poison prone and restrained they are however vulnerable to radiant damage which is mighty fine for the cleric incorporeal movements they can move the objects like difficult terrain 30 foot fly speed so they can't make too much out of that this is not a bright light situation so their light sensitivity will not kick in when in dim light or darkness they can hide as a bonus action they have claws that they can use to do some psychic damage as well. What if we were in a bright light situation, say if we had a lantern or two? In a bright light, the demons have disadvantage on attack rolls and perception checks that rely on sight, terrain and effects. As long as you're in the boat, you're not in the water, but otherwise there's a bunch of water on this map. There's also a couple of pieces of difficult terrain where the bushes are and the crystals. The orange section are these strange sort of crystals. Crystals have a mesmerizing energy on them. So if you touch them with your bare skin, as represented by failing a DC-17 acrobatics check if you stand on them, then you will be stunned until the start of your next turn. Is it possible to hide in that if you were a small creature? If you do not get stunned by it, then you can do whatever you want. It's not difficult terrain. You can certainly hide behind them, as long as the enemy is, you know, on the outside of it. It's fine. My minimum roll on acrobatics right now is 25. Which I think brings us to our next section, which is going to be tactics. Any thought about tactics for this fight? We have two lanterns of revealing, so we probably want to have one of those up nearby so that we can prevent those shadows from getting too useful on us. Otherwise, let them come to us. Yeah, I was about to say, I feel like they're probably going to be trying to get to us if we can put up a strong circle of defense here. Keep them within my aura, using the lanterns to deal with the shades. It should just be a matter of handling the larger ones. Anything we want to go for first? The demons first? Or the big guys? Big guys. The demons aren't going to be much use if we put a lantern down. Roger that. That's the case. Let's roll some initiative. Anybody have higher than a 20? Anyone have between a 20 and a 15? 16 for the rogue. Anyone got between a 15 and a 10? I have a 12 for the demons. I have an 11 for the cleric. Anyone have between a 10 and a 5? 9 wizard, 8 owl. 8 fighter. Rogue, kick us off. Sure. Bonus action hide, then move into the crystal field, take the shot at the frontmost frog demon. 30 to hit. 30 will connect. 39 points of damage. After the rogue, we go to the Hezrau. This guy's going to move to here, stay out of the zone. This guy's going to move to there, walk into the zone. Claire, give me some damage. 22. This will be a DC 18 wisdom save. He's going to pass that and take 11. Then he's going to dash to there. This guy's going to run over to here. The shadow demons. The shadow demons can fly 30 feet. This guy's going to fly to here and stealth as a bonus action. Anyone have a passive perception higher than 19? Nope. This guy's going to fly over to there. Gonna get a 24 to hide. He's gonna fly to there. Another 19 to hide. 
That's all my guys. Cleric, you're up. Bonus action. Wait, no, spiritual weapon is a concentration spell, isn't it? Cool. Let's go ahead and cast that. 14. 14 is not going to connect with their natural armor. Move in front of the Hezro, getting off the boat. Action will be to attack the Hezro with the Warhammer. 18. 18 hits. 10 bludgeoning, 7 radiant. 10 points of bludgeoning, it's going to take 5. So that'll be 12 points of damage total. And that'll be my turn. After that, we're going to go to the wizard. I would like to move southwest of the simulacrum then. Big guy's in front of me, he's been attacked, so let's magic missile him, level 3, and I'll roll your dice here in just a second. That, unfortunately, is a 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 5 is 7. 7 times 5 is 35 points of damage. Simulacrum. Simulacrum's going to move to the west the shore here. He's going to do a level 4 magic missile, and that is 4 on the dice. 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. 10 times 6 is 60. It's going to take 60 points of damage and draw. Owl. Owl's going to give that one north for the fighter to get away from there. After the owl, we go to the fighter. Can I object interact to place a lit lantern of revealing here? Yeah. Advance north and do violence. Rolling for first attack. That's a... 16 to hit. 16 connects. 15 damage. Second attack is a crit. Total of 22 damage. Third attack. That's a 16 again for 10 damage. After the fighter, we go to the rogue. We're going to hop in the boat. Whee! We'll take the shot from there at the one with the fighter. This is not an advantage because I'm not hiding, but I will still get sneak because the fighter is in base contact. And there's no disadvantage yet. 30. 30 hits. Yeah. 35 points of damage. Use the rest of the movement to drop down and hide in the boat. After the rogue, we're going to go to the Hezro. Hezro's going to start to turn off in the zone. It's going to be 16 with a DC 18 wisdom save. He's going to fail the wisdom save with a 9. Then he's going to advance. Then he's going to attack the cleric. One bite, two claws. 16 to hit you. Does not hit. Claw number one is an 18. Does not hit as well. Claw number two is a 15. Does not hit. Go up there and go up to the fighter. 12 to bite you, fighter. Nope. Another 12 to punch you. Mm, still nope. 26 to punch you. Hey! 16 points of slashing damage on the claw attack. Shadow demons. Oh, shadow demons. What are you going to do? This guy's going to fly over here at ground level and attack the fighter. Shadow demon's going to claw at you, fighter, for a 14. Nope. Shadow demon's going to fly into the zone. That's going to be 12 with a DC 18 wisdom save. Fails the wisdom save. It's going to double that up to 24. And the shadow demon's going to attack the simulacrum. Disadvantage because it's in bright light of the lantern. He's going to drop a nat 20 in favor of a 16. Fail. And then the other one is going to do the same thing. 13. He's going to fail the wisdom save. 13 is going to bump up to 26. 17 to hit the simulacrum. Fail. 18 is the AC. After that, we're going to go to the cleric. Hit the nearest shadow demon with the warhammer that's going to miss with a 10 misses indeed spiritual weapon to strike at the hezro north of me 24 24 hits for 13 after the cleric we go to the wizard let's pick the shadow demon to the west here another level three magic muscle damage is two on the dice two plus one is three three plus five is eight eight times five is 40 he takes 40 points of damage and same thing another level three from the simulacrum Another two. Two plus one is three. Three plus five is eight. Eight times five is 40. 40 points of damage to that shadow demon. Still kicking? Dang. <laughs> uh, no, he dropped. He dropped. That shadow demon drops. <laughs> After the wizard, we go to the owl. Give the fighter advantage. Leave the one in the middle because he's got damage. After the owl, we go to the fighter. Going after the one I've got advantage on. It's open with a 27 to hit. 27 hits for 15 damage. Second attack. 16 to hit for 14 damage. Lethal. And I will turn and hit the Hezro to the north of me with the last attack. That's a 20 to hit for 15 damage. And then I will second wind for 1, plus my 16 levels is going to put me back at max HP. Rogue, you're up. Get off of my wizard. Stand up from prone <laughs> and shoot the shadow demon. I know where my bread is buttered. Does a 22 hit. Yeah. For 43 points of damage. 43 is lethal. I'm gonna pop back down in my boat and hide now. After the row, we go to the Hezro. If you provoke me, I'm gonna crit you. Walks into the zone, Claire, tell me about it. 22 with a DC 18 wisdom save. He gets a 15 on the save. Attack the cleric. 20 to hit. That will miss. Nat 1 to hit you with a claw. And 19 to hit with another claw. That will also miss. The shadow demon's gonna go after the fighter. It has disadvantage because of the bright light. 14 to hit you with the claw. Miss. After the Hezra, we're going to go to the Cleric. Move to the east of the Hezra. Attack the Hezra with the Warhammer. It'll be a 24. Hits. 
8 bludgeoning, 11 radiant. He's going to resist the bludgeoning, so he's going to take 4 from that, plus 11 is 15. And then for the bonus, I will attack him with the spiritual weapon. That's going to miss at a 12. You good there? Yes, that'll be it. After the cleric, we go to the wizard. Second from Simmons first, third level magic missile, your dice is a 3. 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus 5 is 9, 9 times 5 is 45 points of damage to the Azrael. Still up. Alright, I think I'm comfortable right where I am. Same thing, level 3 magic missile, dice is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 5 is 8, 8 times 5 is 40, 40 is lethal. Roger that. After that is the owl. Get the fighter advantage. After the owl is the fighter. First attack with advantage. 27 to hit. 27 hits. 12 damage. Next one is without advantage. That's a crit for 20 damage. Third attack is a 24 to hit for 19 damage. And then I make silly faces at him and pass my turn. After the fighter, we go to the rogue. Stand up. Am I shooting through cover if I take the shot from there? Yeah, you want to move sideways? Yeah, 28 to hit. 28 hits. For 40 points of damage. 40 points of lethal. Shadow Demon drops. This is the final short rest. Report hit points remaining. 169 out of 169. At the end of this short rest, my temp HP will expire. 161 out of 170. 122 out of 122. 35 out of 50 for the simulator. 202 out of 202. Does anyone have any actions they wish to take at the beginning of the short rest? Since water's coming up, I definitely want to ritual cast water breathing. Ritual cast water breathing sounds good. It's time to spend hit dice. This is also the final one, so it's kind of smoke them if you got them. I spend two hit dice and I heal for nine. I could spend 11 and heal zero. Okay, thanks. Any post rest actions? Arcane recovery, fifth level gain back, and a third level gain back. I'm going to get drunk on my potion of fire giant beer putting my strength at 25 rogue you want another scroll of fireball sure i'll hang on to that <laughs> is somebody gonna collect their lantern i suppose you know now that we've finished our rest i can pick it up the lantern is recovered the spirit guardians drops off the adventurers are going to make their way up the path towards the building that they see in front of them and try to figure out what sort of demonic infestation is radiating out from here four encounters down two more to go before the long rest Thank you for stopping by, and I hope you'll join us next week as the adventure continues. I'm Sarson Zero, and I will see you next time.